What is up? This is Raphael from NBA Draft Junkies, and the prospect I'll be covering today is Gene Montero, a 6'2 score machine from the Dominican Republic, who played the last couple seasons for Gran Canaria in Spain. Now, Montero does not pass the eye test, as he's not a great athlete that's going to wow you with explosiveness or highlight dunks, but what he lacks in ideal physical tools. He makes up for it with his knack for just putting the ball in the basket. He's an impressive scorer that plays with a great pace and is a creative shot maker that slizzers through defenses to get to the cup. Now, I first saw him play in Chicago during 2020 NBA All-Star Weekend at the Basketball Without Borders camp. And in my opinion, he was the best player on the floor. And that camp featured Josh Giddy, who ended up being the number six pick in the 2021 draft. To be honest with you, it's just like you see here in these clips. At the Basketball Without Borders camp, Montero was able to get to the rim whenever he wanted. And it is largely due to his combination of craftiness, his shifty ball handling, his quick first step, and his soft touch around the rim. And if you've been listening to my podcast or watching my videos, you know how I feel about soft touch finishes. One of Montero's best scoring attributes is his pull-up jumper. Now, I know the mid-range shot is frowned upon and is considered an inefficient shot based on analytics, but I think it's a good weapon to have, especially if a player can score at the rim and from deep. And throughout his career, Montero has been able to score on three levels with his pull-up jumper accounting for a good percentage of his buckets. Last season, nearly 44% of his possessions in the half court were pull-up jumpers off the dribble. On paper, he was not very efficient and only shot 28% on jumpers off the dribble, but I still believe it is something that he'll be more efficient at and will definitely become a strength as he continues to develop. Montero is a promising shooter from deep that connected on 38.5% of his catch and shoot opportunities while playing for Grand Canaria's B team last season. When left unguarded, he knocked down a shade over 46% of his catch and shoot jumpers. Since a large percentage of his jump shots were taken off the dribble, it impacted his percentage as he only shot 30% from three in Spain's second division last season. Montero also has the potential to be dynamic in the open floor, considering his penchant for collecting steals and creating his own personal fast breaks with his defense. Nearly 20% of his possessions last season came in transition, where he shot a respectable 55% from the floor. The percentage jumped to 60.5% from the field when he was the lead ball handler, which was on 73% of his transition possessions. Now he did turn the ball over on 18.5% of his transition possessions, but overall I'm high on his aptitude for scoring buckets in the open floor. Over the past few years, Montero's scoring production in two different continents has made him a household name for draft junkies and NBA scouts. But I personally believe his reputation as a scorer and shot creator has overshadowed his passing and court vision. Now, I love confident passers that are not afraid to take risks. There's game managers and there are playmakers. I think Gene Montero can develop into an NBA level playmaker in the very near future because he's shown flashes that he can make advanced reads. I think he does a good job of locating teammates that are streaking to the basket, especially when he's breaking defenses down with dribble penetration and hitting cutters as the defense rotates to stop his drive. He's also shown that he's capable of firing cross-court skip passes from different angles through the teeth of the defense to cutting teammates for easy baskets. Now his scoring that which we've discussed at length in this video opens up passing opportunities which should create open looks for shooters. Now as far as areas for improvement, I mentioned the shooting consistency and then I also mentioned his turnovers in transition. Overall, I think he's a great prospect that should be selected in the first round. If he can shore up his turnovers, I think that will kind of end some of the doubts about whether or not he's more so of a point guard or a combo guard. But either way, I think Gene Montero is deserving of a first round pick and could slide into the lottery, but it's going to depend on how good the competition is in the overtime elite league.